Hey guys and welcome to Minimalistic. So in today's video, we'll go over all the steps that are needed to clean and take care of your mechanical keyboard. I'll be using my 60% mechanical keyboards to do so, but these tips can be applied on pretty much any mechanical keyboard. So without further ado, let's start the cleaning process. So first things first, I removed all my keyboard's keycaps. I used this key puller that came with my poker keyboard to do so. Now see how dirty that thing was? Yuck. That's the result of 4 months at a full-time programming job. So I used this small brush that also came with my poker board to clean it up. Most of the dirt should disappear that way and make sure to clean your work surface too. And I gave it another shot just to be sure. Now that's way better. So to make sure everything was perfectly clean, I cleaned the back plate using alcohol and a cotton swab. This got rid of pretty much all the tough stains that were left. So just after that, I cleaned my keycaps by putting them in a bowl, then I added a few drops of dish soap and I poured over hot water until they were completely submerged. At this point, I use a wooden spoon to mix this keycap soup. Now see how the water became dirty? Clearly, this cleaning process was much needed. So after that, I rinsed the keycaps using a pasta drainer and I laid them on a dry cloth. I rubbed them a bit to remove some of the water, but these will have to stay there to dry up completely. In my case, I let them dry overnight. So then I lube my keyboard stabilizers with white lithium grease. I used this metal tool from iFixit to do so. Now here's where you'd want to apply some grease, exactly where the metal rod touches the plastic. And I did the same thing on my Ant Pro. Now another issue I had was with the Ant Pro stabilizers, they wobbled way too much compared to real cherry ones. To fix this issue, I tried to use a drop of Gorilla Glue to fix them in place, then I used some Gorilla Tape to make sure the stabilizers didn't move while the glue dried. Unfortunately, this wasn't holding up at all, so I decided to use a small piece of Gorilla Tape, fold it in half. I inserted it just here and it worked pretty well, I'd say. No more wobbles compared to the unmodded stabilizers. Another issue with the Ant Pro stabilizers is that their stem is not standard, being slightly smaller than cherries. When used with other standard keycaps, the stabilizers don't stay attached to the keycap, and that's quite an issue. So a pretty good fix I found for this problem was to insert a bit of Gorilla Glue in the keycap stabilizer sockets so that they fit tighter. When the glue will be dry, it will foam up and that should compensate for the gap. So now that our keycaps are dry and that the glue in our Ant Pro keycaps is also dry, We'll install them on our keyboards. So just by pressing down, I was able to reinstall all the keycaps as they were, but switching up some colors between my two keycap sets. And here are the results. These are so clean. I really dig the blacked out poker. So I'd recommend you tear down your keyboard just like that every once in a while. It really depends on how much you use it. If it starts to squeak or if it seems dirty, well, that should give you a heads up. But if you think that's clean, you'll want to watch my next video in collaboration with Banggood. We'll switch up my poker's case and keycaps for some crazy stuff. Seriously. You don't want to miss that. So that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video if you did. Subscribe if you still haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.